parked up with the rest of the crew. All the cars pulling in. <laughs> residential homes I would love to wake up to this soundtrack <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. 
Glendale Speedway. Let's go ahead, pull a park up, and enjoy the event. <laughs> this video it was completely empty in this location now it is completely full of people hypercars supercars even all the spec on that huracan oh man that svj is beautiful with the white wheels white paint the old school bagatti right here dgt call it on the savannah door and we have a few career gts pulling in look at the blue on this one Wow, purple one too. Tech 812. Spec lady driven GT3. Damn, looks like a whole rally joined us. It's like NU rally, so we're gonna walk through some of these cars. Damn, there are two, look at the 6x6 Mercedes Brabus AMG. Mm -hmm. Wow. Carbon roof on the Evo. 3RS, the police. Got a nice super right here as well. Some Aventadors. Be nice. That's a lot of cars. Lots of orange on the GT3 as well. Vendor rim like that, I'd be happy as hell. But man, you can see there's straight chaos caused by this rally pulling in. People are just trying to capture these sounds. And look at how many people are trying to get the same shot. This is pretty wild. <laughs> Nice, but look at this Alpina V8 Grand Coupe in green. That is gorgeous. Switch over to the iPhone right now. We're gonna walk down and catch some more of these cars that are pulling in. It's pretty wild. There's a 918 Spider. Just check these cars out. Nice M2 Comp, clean. A Huracan Storado. This is the off-road version of the Huracan that just got released. You can even see it has an extra wheel on top of the roof. That looks awesome. This, I'm not even sure what this is, but it's absolutely beautiful. What is this car? If you guys know what this car is, let me know down low in the comments. It almost looks like a Ferrari that's been modified and kitted. Wow, that is pretty unique. Also, what is this Miami blue type color on a McLaren? 
Urus Performante and a G80 M3. Look at the blue carbon fiber on this car. Absolutely beautiful. We got more cops that pulled in. I mean, that was just chaos. I'm surprised there's not more cops than this, to be honest. You can see it. Oh, the paint fades into black like that. That's pretty cool. Or black or a dark green, I'm not sure. All carbon fiber, though. And the 6x6 has the UAE plates on, number one. Wow. <laughs> Everybody chasing them. And then up close we can see that black McLaren P1 that got it cracking in front of the crowd and the police. This has got to be one of my favorite McLarens of all time. Kind of like a black metallic paint with dry carbon fiber doors and accents. We just know it's a P1 just looking at the back of it. I mean, it doesn't even look like a real car. Let's go! Oh Let's my go. God, there goes the Aston Martin Valkyrie leaving kind of catching him now he's leaving look at the crowd look at the crowd this car has attracted absolutely insane I mean, this is unreal this car we got a chance to hear it rev up earlier maybe we can catch some uh, sounds of it leaving it's about the valkyrie man this is one of the most beautiful cars ever created any price point <laughs> Thanks, bro. Yeah. Can I get a picture real quick? Yeah, absolutely, for sure. Bro. <laughs> Appreciate you for watching, yeah, man. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> yeah, dude, have a great one. Thanks, you yeah, too. I drive a Mini Cooper. Okay. I drive all the all the canyons, bro. Ladder, oh, for real? Canyon, Malibu. Man, that's um, that's a blessing right no, there. Dude, I know. My friend has an E92 M3, the one that you drove, uh, the one the one of 250, I believe it was. Lime Rock edition. Yeah, I yeah. Lime Rock okay. Dude, and you, I saw you I watched that video, dude. It's crazy. Oh man, man that I car mean, it's is so like much this, fun. Though, but it's all about that sound. <laughs> I know the sound is better than this. Yeah, yeah. What's your first name? Uh, Eric. Eric. <laughs> STO right in front of us as well. Shout out to all the subs saying my name is a lot of you right now. Can I hear Doug? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's amazing to see at a supercar event how many people still love the M4, want to hear, want me to rev it. I got no problem with that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are back on the road and we are behind a couple of hyper cars, a Pagani Zonda, a Koenigsegg, a Gera Vader. Oh my God. To see these cars parked up is one thing, but to see them on the road is a whole nother thing. Wow, just look at that whole carbon fiber.
<laughs> the Beclair just shot some nasty flames. <laughs> what a sight we have right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of the coolest sights we've ever seen here on Beamer Fam. I mean, my goodness, it's, it's insane. It's insane. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Let's catch up real quick. You see the Koenigsegg is pulling in. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Just look at them. That Pagani though, by far is my favorite. You cannot top that car. But I mean, I think we caught probably the best cars leaving that event. I mean, sure, the Aston Martin Valkyrie, we did not catch on the road, but oh my God, that Pagani Zonda was spitting flames. All those cars were spitting flames and sounding like, oh my God, I'm just, oh. After this super long day, you guys may not know, I filmed two videos today. We've been up in OC since seven o'clock in the morning. It is now 7.30 in the evening. We've been filming nonstop. So I'm just, I'm just happy. I'm super happy and super, oh my God, E39 and five. Oh man. Nine and five again. <laughs> I used to have one. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, look at that Aventador. Wow. cars we're seeing tonight is on right now oh my god <laughs> the m4 is really holding its own these cars aren't going anywhere when this car is in sport plus the full stage two tune is engaged i mean this thing is just as good as a supercar as far as performance. I see 92. Oh, 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 that sounds good. So we got that uh, old school Bugatti right in front of us. I mean, how often do you, are you sat behind one of these as well? It, it just keeps going and going. Literally could drive around here all night and we'd just be around some of the most rare cars on the road. It's one thing seeing them parked up, but man, on the road, it's just a whole nother ordeal. <laughs> oh my God, look at that. That is just so cool. <laughs> oh, 
tonight has been a movie, guys. It's been a movie. Nothing nuts, nothing more. BMW cars yeah. versus JDM cars. Man, look at this pulling in. Oh my god. Atlantis blue, black b is on it as well. Wow, this has got to be one of my favorite F80 colors I've ever seen. See, it's also a six-speed manual as well. Man, this thing is beautiful. <laughs> got the first cop of the night, just here for coffee, he said. <laughs> I must say, it's interesting to see the two cultures clash. Euro, mainly BMW M, and also the JDM cars as well. You see someone over there wiping his car down, making it look good. Clean F82. Another white one done join the crew. Got some more M cars pulling through. A Dakar yellow E36 M3 with a nice wing on it. This thing looks good. E92 M3 as well. Another F80 and one behind that. This one's a wide body kit. Again, you guys are gonna have to help me out with what these are called. I'm not too fam familiar with the JDM market. That is pretty nice though. The first Porsche of the evening is a 3RS. Look at that. RX7, all white, super clean, looking good. White on white. We'll save all the JDM cars. This is probably one of my favorites. I mean, I don't know guys. BMW's coming out hard tonight. There's a G80 M3. Right here's an E92 in red. The color on this one is really nice. White wheels. It was old school RX-7. Ooh, look at the Evo. Now this is nice. This is also one of my favorite JDM cars. There's two of them pulling in. A silver one and a black one. I like that black one though. Man, look at this pulling in. A wide body, I think it's a BRZ. Man, look at the rear end on this car. That is pretty nice. Man, look at this shot, GTR and another RX-7, a red one this time, right hand drive. Oh, man. This is the first Benz of the night as well, C63S. That's looking good. And we got a nice awesome yellow. Look at that. Man, this could be the next car, F90 comp. This one's Alpine white. That's really nice, another GTR. Okay, at this point, the JDM cars are showing up pretty strong. I don't know, man. It's, it's getting it's getting a little bit more competitive. I must say, when the GTR is done properly, it looks really good. Like this black GTR, stealth spec. Got the right wheel and tire setup on it as well. This is also a nice old school classic WRX. Two door. You don't often see the coupes at all. Man, that's pretty clean. Look at the seats on this F32. Drag slicks on it. Some more JDMs over here tucked off. It's pretty eerie with the lighting. Pretty cool. Damn, that's a GT3 RS. I don't like that. Everybody's starting to head out. Everybody's starting to cut up a little bit, getting the exhaust going. But check out this E39. It's probably a 540. You got the M5 wheels though. It's an M6 coupe with a massive wing on it. Wow. Plus another M4, another wing on it as well. 
the Tomei exhaust, LED diffuser. Wow. There's hella people here. We are back inside the M4, leaving the meat. We're gonna go grab some raisin canes because chicken sounds really good right now. Dang. Oh my god. That sounds incredible. M3 sounds phenomenal, guys. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my 
my god. Jesus Christ. As soon as we pull up at the Raisin Canes, sounds like we got a rev battle. <laughs> oh my god. SVJ GT3 Seems they have all have exhaust 10 R8 I'm sure that cop on the shoulder was like, oh my God, I can't do nothing. I can't turn around. Just gonna have to let him rip. And what's crazy is this cup has coffee in it the whole time. I was looking at it while we we're getting on the highway and it was this close to spilling everywhere. But we got here safe, we made it. And no coffee was spilled. M4 parked up. I gotta say, hearing these cars on the road, that's absolutely insane. V10s, V12s, V8s, inline six, crackles, pops, what you dream of, right? So we can get a closer look at the cars that we were just riding with. We got the Huracan, definitely has some kind of exhaust. It sounded really good. The GT3 also has some kind of exhaust. We got more cars pulling in as well. There goes that ash green Huracan once again. There goes the SVJ we were hearing right in front of us. Man, check out this quad pulling in nice with the mountains in the background and everything. It's a vibe right now. Oh, oh my God. You know, these V82s is growing on me more and more. Man, look at this M8 with the Vorsteiner kit. That is gorgeous. Wow, check out this E36 M3 Dynan. Clean. Gotta show respect for the V10 M5. All blacked out. Obviously, we have the Alpine white one in Michigan. But it's always nice to see these cars. What I love about this meet is not only are the people really cool, and people keep safety first, but you have a lot of M cars here as well. It's not just exotic. Like right here, you just have two M5s, another M5, M4, E92 M3, another M5, 335, obviously the V10 M5, M2, <laughs> F30, M8. Then you you know, you have the stuff like the GT3 RSs, another M5. That's something I've noticed about some of these meets out here in Southern California. Some of them can be a little, you know, bougie, right? You know, a little uppity and exotics only, and they look down on the M drivers. This meet, everybody's welcome. It's just 
Check out the fire series, the body kit, the hood, the wing. Looks like Chanel is ready to go. So that's your first drive. So we're gonna go ahead and hop back inside the car, get ready to go to the next destination and just go from there. gets once you open up those wastegates and get on the throttle <laughs> not to mention the burbles <laughs> with the G80M3 with a huge wing on it. He had a, mar a big margin on him. The dynamic drivetrain. That is the one I would take. Man. Oh, there goes that turbo ass. Just look at the <laughs> rear end on this car. It's just so good. What is that? Now look at this sight. <laughs> the turbo s2 i've seen this car a lot too man thing is well spec rx7 is sick but these pops and bang on this f9 this is an f90 video today I mean, we had the lambos earlier you can dish out whoopings to any supercar in luxury that's insane V10 R8 downshifting. Man, these are some sick cars today on today's drive. Let me know which one's your favorite. We can get a closer look at this M5 rolling. Oh, that's insane. Beautiful car.
doesn't sound right. You hear that? environment right now. parked up the second location and you can hear it's M Town on the street so you can hear they getting it going you can see KG's Lime Rock and you don't often see this car it's not a wrap it's paint man. it's OEM but oh my god you know you see the M4 CS is pretty often you never really see the M3s that's really nice this video is M Town certified I've never seen so many M's on a drive in one place in my life so I'm really enjoying this uh, shortly here we're gonna actually hit the canyons we're gonna go get on some driving roads and just go from there check out this g80 m3 with the purple color the new m performance exhaust with these the kind of different diagonal design let me know what you guys think about this setup i'm personally not the biggest fan i probably wouldn't go for that option i like the more traditional look but it still looks really cool not to mention the whole spec on this car the purple with the red interior black wheels giant carbon fiber diffuser as well i mean this is just a six spec oh my god it's a nice M4 GTS. It's that nice aggressive fun splitter. Nice E46 M3 with like a louvered hood, BBS wheels, uh, red interior as well. Black on red interior is one of my favorite specs. This all white G80 M3. We got a nice X5M in blue and a Sao Paulo yellow M4 with blue interior. So. Be cool. The 101 freeway exit cannon. We're gonna make a left, all the way down. Oh, to, right, right, right. Oh, right. We're going all the way down to um, Westward Beach, and there's like a parking lot, like all the way in the back. It's like empty, and we can just like park there and take pictures. Wow. No, oh, man, Anthony brought his camera so we can get photos. Obviously, we all know how to drive. We're all driving Beamers. Nobody do bull. No double. You know, no going over double yellow lines. No. Boy, don't be stupid, please. Don't, don't drive like a race. This is one of our first, you know, times all of us are together now, especially in the new year. Let's not f up, all right? Be safe, drive well, and let's have a good time. So now it's time for part two. Let's go ahead and hop back in the M4 and get back on the road. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. <laughs> Sound of the E92 M3. 
unfortunately we got disconnected from the group so we actually took the wrong road and hopefully we can uh, get reunited with the squad man look how green the hills are the mountains oh my gosh <laughs> God, that is clean. Yeah, look, all the M's, we caught up to them. But look at this 8 series, this is clean. Look at the whole gang. <laughs> wow, we caught up to them, perfect timing. Look at that. <laughs> Holy sh Oh my God, just listen to the sounds. tire set up on this thing that is wild very cool car also this is nice too Now we're about to park up at the beach. We got all the M's here. And also we just hit 72,000 miles on the M4s. So new achievement unlocked. <laughs> pizza so shout out to Daniel for hooking that up for the squad but now we're gonna be heading back hitting the tunnels and the canyons out here in Southern California there goes Daniel shout out to Daniel for the pizza the wheels he's got the spoiler the diffuser the full adro body kit the new front bumper it just it slammed to the ground it looks so good rolling oh, it sounds amazing too once you see a g82 done up like how this one is man it really makes you think about things they look so good especially this rear end the color on it Oh my god. Nice E36. Oh, that was sick. Wow, the views out here are incredible. I think we got our second tunnel, the long one. <laughs> I'm 
tell you guys. <laughs> man, this is literally what dreams are made of, man. These kind of cars with these sceneries and these tunnels. Oh, you can't get much better than that. Huge shout out to Life of KG for throwing this meet together, man. He's in the orange M3 up there. Really cool people, really cool vibes, man. It's just a, a really fun day so far. Yeah. <laughs> so we get a closer look at the M4. Next to the E92, the orange one. It's even got a mic on the trunk. That's really cool. Which one are you guys taking? My car, E92, or G82? What's up, man? Car looks sick rolling, bro. It's wild. <laughs> so he's also got the AWE exhaust on his, so we're matching in that sense. This setup right here. Yep. That's a green GT4. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs>
thought the mic was on here in LA. Beautiful mountains, beautiful cars. Look at the rear view mirror. Oh, we are back in M Town yet again. M4 is sounding exceptionally well right now. What a great way to start off the day. That is a nice satin yellow on this G82. First stop is about a gas station, maybe 40, 50 miles from this location. So I mean, just look at all these cars, man. We got M4 GTS, G80 M3, there's an X6M Comp, M4 Comp, and then we have the new M2 over there as well. Looks really good.
Ninja kick in the back. Now we got the Carbon Tastic paddle shifters as well. <laughs> oh, nice purple M4 too. Got a nice E46. That is a hero car, man. So timeless looking. drives you get to experience the cars away from a parking lot you see them on the road you see them moving you see them revving oh my god good and of course we had to take over a gas station i mean look at all of these m cars different colors different style generations it's insane also look at the orange interior on this one just gotta love the carbon buckets this one was sounding really good had a really nice exhaust setup on it man e92 legendary car for sure you can get a better look of the takeover of the 76 right now these this x5m and the x6m were absolutely ripping on the road Honestly, they were leading the pack. I like to see the SUVs getting it going nice and strong, but man, this is G80 Central. Got another E92 right there. So cool. Oh, there goes the M8 over there. So I gotta say, man, the first rally so far is a success. The vibes are immaculate. Just a whole bunch of car guys connecting with each other, enjoying the culture of driving. Okay, it's different seeing these cars parked up, but driving them is a whole nother thing. You can also see this Laguna Seca Blue up close. I mean, this color is beautiful. It might be a wrap, but still, phenomenal looking car. And we got Kevin's M4 GTS. We kind of get a closer look now at the gas station. Oh my God. Absolutely love this car. But man, the satin frozen yellow. It's beautiful too with the yellow headlights. Man, look at that. This M8 is absolutely beautiful in purple. with kind of dark bronze wheels, Boston wheels. Loving the spec. And then you got the XM over here. Huge car. Really fun. Obviously, we drove this back in Ohio. It's nice to see one out here. Similar specs to the one we drove. And even more cars pulling in. The frozen white G82. 
looking amazing red interior on that as well and then we got the boy mark just looking so clean look at the wheels on this thing too man it's beautiful white calipers and another frozen g80 seems to be g80 day and then we have anthony's g82 m4 com looking incredible i mean you can even see the titanium exhaust from valtronic down low oh, that, that is nice tail lights as well from the csl and obviously back with the M4, stickers are good on it. I really like how it looks. I might keep the stickers on for a while. Kind of adds the character of the car. We got a black cat. This AMG. Also, look at the M8 Grand Coupe looking phenomenal at the gas station, man. These things have really grown on me. Compared to our M6 Grand Coupe, we didn't know how to feel about this rear section here but with certain angles i really like it especially from about right here it looks super nice how it swoops down and up with the spoiler and the trunk ready to get back on the road man now we're behind anthony from a concepts g82 m4 i mean it looks beautiful and it's like frozen silver got the whole agile kit on it as well look at the exhaust just poking out there the diffuser off titanium McLaren sound wild. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is that McLaren that was making all that ruckus, all that noise. So good.
to that Lamborghini. I think it has an exhaust, so let's see if we can hear that thing. Oh, you can see flames. <laughs> license plate M sexy <laughs> Oh he shoot <shooting> flames <laughs> Look at this site, an SVJ with three F90 M5s, one stock. <laughs> My goodness. Sick. a nice f90 m5 as well all white gotta say love the spec on this one man that is really cool it's like a, a satin white with a, a brush aluminum wheels i think a minivan was just revving right there around 615 horsepower I believe so this one has a stage 3 tune from Dynan uh, it also has he said headers down pipes um, and X pipe as well so the exhaust is modified uh, he's even went three-piece uh, wheels bring that weight a little bit down from 4100 to around 3900 pounds so all together we're looking at around 915 horsepower and around 3900 to 4000 pounds so if you guys aren't familiar with these cars these are um, not only rear-wheel drive but they're all-wheel drive you can basically drive in all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive in two different settings so in this car he's got m1 set up for rear-wheel drive and m2 set up for all-wheel drive oh you can hear the gt3 rs sounds wild <laughs> oh my god Nice Turbo S, that is beautiful. Jeez, man, when you let off the throttle, it gives off a big whip sound, similar to my M4. So when you change the M mode, you get a different heads up display, which is really appealing. Oh my God, third to fourth gear, 
that's insane the way it just grabs onto the next gear it's almost instantaneous but not only that you lose no power with this transmission <laughs> God, so the owner was telling me that this car does zero to 60 in roughly two seconds flat. He, he said it was less than 2.1 seconds, zero to 60. So you guys can get an idea how fast this is. Oh. <laughs> that is nuts, bro. The way this car <laughs> jerks you back in between shifts, I don't know if it comes up on camera, but my goodness, that's, that just, oh, that's intoxicating. So now we're gonna try rear wheel drive. Oh my God. <laughs> the whole track right here we were just ripping the m2 around this portion right here it's not to say i don't have a little bit more experience than some of the guys out here but at the end of the day there's always more to learn and these guys are pointing out all my flaws now we're just taking a break we're gonna eat some lunch they have the whole kitchen the whole cafe the whole cooks chefs servers and literally everything is in the house i just think it's really cool also check out this m1 at last, the new M4 competition. Now this is the car I anticipated the most because I wanted to see if BMW M was able to make an already incredible car even better. We have about two miles of proper racetrack to test this machine on, so let's waste no time to hop inside and see what the M4 can do. Stay 
in this orientation, maybe get one more lap in here. So, travel, 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 man, come chase me down. this power not to mention all the technology you have that is incredible I'm trying not to laugh right now. It's just that enjoyable. And you got the views out here too. Oh my God, what a car. Let's do it again. <laughs> is by far one of the best sounding cars ever made. Sure, we're talking V8s, yes. This might be the best sounding V8 aside from like a 458, but even so, I mean, it's up there. It's just as exotic, oh, just as addicting. 